So, you want to get custom songs, mods, or both in your game. In this tutorial, I'm going to go over everything you need to know about modding or getting custom songs. This video was made on the 11th of June, so if anything changes, I'll either make an updated video or if it's minor, I'll leave the changes and tweaks in the comments and description in this video. Most of my content is more entertainment based rather than educational, however I still think that making a tutorial which I can link people to and use to discuss problems within the comments would be very helpful. By the way, if you have any issues with the process, just leave a comment, in most cases I should be able to help you out. Modding Beat Server makes the game so much better and there are barely any risks, since the worst case scenario is that you just have to uninstall your mods and then reinstall them, which with a certain tool that I'll mention later will make it as easy as just as clicking a button. Okay, here we go. Firstly, you want to find where your Beat Saber is installed. This will be different on each computer, but I can give you some tips on where it might be. Since I installed Beat Saber on the Oculus Store, my game path looks something like this. If you download it on Steam, your game path would look something like this. Once you've found where your game is installed, you want to take note of two folders. The Plugins folder, where you will be keeping all of your mods, and then there is the Beat Saber Data Custom Levels folder, which will keep all of your custom songs that you want. Now that you know where everything is, I will first show you how to manually put your songs in and then I will show you how to use an application called Mod Assistant which is what I recommend since it makes it so much easier. So to do it manually you want to go to a website like Beat Saver for your songs, then you want to click the arrow with the bar button. This will download the zip file of that song. Once you have that you want to unzip it and then move that folder into your Beat Saver Data Custom Levels folder. After that, just restart your game and the new song should appear in your Custom Levels tab. There are two reasons to use Mod Assistant for importing your songs. One, you can enable a one-click install which allows you to browse on Beat Saver and then you can click the cloud with an arrow button and it will just automatically put it into your game. And two, you can get a mod which allows you to browse for songs while still inside the game. To get Mod Assistant, you can Google Mod Assistant Releases or you can click the link in the description. Once you are at that GitHub, you just want to download the latest release and run it. It will say, could not find your Beat Saber installation. This is okay, and all it's asking us is to point it in the direction of where our game is stored on our PC. So click OK, and then select the folder that has your Beat Saber executable on it. After that, you can agree to the terms and conditions, and then you should be able to see all the mods that they have to offer. If it says no mods are available for your game's version, that's probably because you have updated Beat Saber recently and the mod creators haven't uploaded updated versions yet. I have heard that it's possible to roll back your game previous versions, but I haven't been able to figure it out just yet. So instead what I do is I have Beat Saber set to not automatically install. That way I can at least control when I want to lose access to the mods. If you're wanting to use Mod Assistant for downloading songs, then you'll either want to get Song Browser or Better Song Search. This will give you a way to search and download songs from inside your game. An optional one I'd recommend is the Beat Saber Ranking Mod, which allows you to upvote and downvote songs after playing them, which can help other users decide whether they should download it based on the positive feedback. Finally, to enable one-click install, you will want to go to your options on Mod Assistant and then click the Enable One-Click Installs button. This will allow you to click the cloud with an arrow button on Beat Saber to install it automatically. Now it's time to talk about properly modding your game. The map at the beginning of the video would be downloadable, but you would not be able to play it without getting at least Chroma and Noodle mods. Pretty much any song that looks breathtaking on my channel will require one or more of these three mods, Chroma, Noodle, and Mapping Extensions. If you are looking to record Beat Saber like I do, the Camera 2 mod allows you to have a much freer control of your camera, and the Trig Saber mod allows you to spin your sabers like I do in my videos. Just like with the songs, I will show you the manual way since some mods aren't on Mod Assistant, and then I will show you the way to use Mod Assistant because it's easier to do it that way if the mods are on there. 
To manually get your mods, you will have to first find the mods GitHub. I'll use the Trick Saber mod as an example since you all want to know how I spin my sabers, and it's a mod that doesn't exist on the Mod Assistant's mod list. So here I'm just searching up Trick Saber release on Google, but I'll also leave a link to it in the description. Once I'm here, I want to download the zip file and then extract it because the only thing that we want is the .dll file. We will copy the .dll file and then paste it in our plugins folder where our Beat Saber is installed. Now just restart your game and then the mods should be installed in game. In game, most of your mods should appear to the left of the main menu and some will be beside your player options in the game screen. Okay, now for the mod assistant way, it's super easy. Assuming you have set up your mod assistant correctly, you should just be able to go to your mods tab, select the ones you want, and then click install slash update, which is at the bottom of the page. As always, just restart your game if you have it open while modding, and the mods should be installed when you open it back up. Now that should be everything. Hopefully whatever you wanted to do to customize your game should be all here. I'll be reading through the comments and helping out where I can. Tomorrow we'll be back to the regular kind of videos where we just chill to some good music and beats over visuals. So I'll see you all tomorrow.